Hi, this is Matt from UAV America. We're here on this lovely spring day in New Hampshire. Um, a couple of weeks ago, Jim and I were out flying a, a mapping mission, and uh, we had a we had an incident. We lost our plane. We have a a 3DR airplane, and it was no failure or fault of the plane. It was totally human error. I planned the mission right into the top of a tree, and the plane flew into the top of the tree just like I told it to. Um, we, we knew sort of the area it went down. We had telemetry. We kind of saw it and heard it. We searched for over two hours and never saw a sign of the plane anywhere. So it really got us thinking, you know, how do you, how would you find your, your UAV or drone in, this, in a situation like that? Um, so we, we did some research and we did a bunch of testing and uh, we came up with this unit. This is called the Marco Polo unit and it's made up of a handheld base station and a little tiny receiver transmitter that goes on your on your copter or your dog or whatever you're looking for and uh, and the way it works is pretty simple uh, this thing when when you turn this module on every 10 seconds it'll it'll turn the receiver on and listen for the signal from the, the base station and once it detects the signal from the base station it begins transmitting a signal um, this runs on 900 megahertz so you get pretty good range out of it um, they, they claim about two miles, I think. We've, in our real world testing, we've, we've had no problems with half a mile, three quarters of a mile, especially on the ground or upside down, different orientations. Um, it's totally self-contained. It's very lightweight, so it's not, it's not dependent on your flight battery at all. So if your flight battery gets ejected in your crash, this thing will still work. Um, on the handheld unit here, it's got a couple of neat features. Uh, it, it gives you a direction to to find your, your thing. So if you're walking around out in the woods, you'll have a signal strength readout and you'll have an arrow pointing the direction you need to go. You walk right up to it. Uh, we've done some, uh, some pretty extensive testing and you know, 10 times out of 10, you walk right up to the thing. We're gonna finish up our Marco Polo video here. One of the things I forgot to mention previously in this video is that this system is not reliant upon the cell phone network at all. It's completely self-contained. Um, so if you're in a remote area, you don't need any other infrastructure for this system to work. Uh, right now we're going to take our, we've got a little Flame Wheel 550 with a Pixhawk flight controller on it down here. We're going to take off and fly it across the lake and then we're going to use the Marco Polo system to, uh, to track its location. Jim's not going to watch where I'm flying it so this will be a blind test. There's a Marco Polo on there already? The Marco Polo is on there and it's, re and it's, it's on. Yep. Okay. My transmitter here. Dusting up to what today? Probably twenty five. Yeah, right, let it rip. That's in position hold, so it's it's doing its thing, fighting the wind there. Well, I've done it. I was hot dogging around. I crashed our 550 into the bushes over here. Um, so we've got our Marco Polo unit. We've got it set to track. We've got 84% signal strength. And it's got an arrow pointed this way. So we're gonna go walk up to the bushes over here and see, see what we can see here. And you can see sort of as we get closer, the arrow kind of hones in closer. We've got you know, 90% signal strength right now. Occasionally the arrow will disappear, but you just need to move to a different location so it can continue to triangulate. So we're showing us up here a little bit to the left. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. Go ahead and keep walking. I'm trying to angle it so the shadow's not on the... Following the arrow there. No, there's no arrow right now. Oh, there you go. So sometimes you have to stop and you'll see the arrow coming in. Okay. It's pointing straight ahead here. Oh, we got 95% signal strength, so we're getting there. 99%, still showing me straight ahead. Oh, I can see it from here. You can see there it is right there. I 
And that's where we came from, all the way on the other side of the lake. So that's not too far, that's only about 150 meters or so. But when we started, we had about 85% signal strength, so it's it's got quite quite a decent range to it. Um, you can see the way it the way it ended up. The antenna for the Marco Polo was facing down, so even with the poor antenna placement, we were still able to get decent range on it. So that's the Marco Polo in a nutshell. If you're like me and you like to crash, it can help find your machine. <laughs>